and welcome back to Baltic Disc Golf Championship 2018 sponsored by Innova Champion Discs. Second round, lead card, back nine. My name is Anton Enden and with me in the studio still the forehand specialist, Markus Twinenino. Once again me, thank you for having me once again and once again we see the good boys trying to hit the gaps, hit the fairways and bank those discs into the chains. Yeah, so we have uh, nine more baskets to go on the second round. And we have Hena Ruda, Ine Kuyt, Albert Tam and Christo Reichmann in front of the cameras. Yes, and uh, as you can see, Rudna taking the lead, minus nine, Weikman minus seven, Tam minus five, and Kuyt having a rough round. As does Tam, but not as rough as Kuyt. As he dropped from minus five or six to even to bar right yeah. now. Hold 10, part three, 75 meters, playing slightly uphill in between these uh, wooded, uh, let's say it's in a wooded corridor. Yeah, and it's the second uh, easiest hole on this course right now. You can, you, can, you can go straight with the backhand or you can use an easy forehand from the left side and hope for a little skip. Yeah, you see, and are going for that skip. Boom. Boom, boom. Yeah, okay, seven, the eight. Still. The, only, the only danger actually is, I'd say, the OB on the long, if you, if you play with, with uh, forehand. With the backhand you can maybe get the skip or kick to the, yeah. to the left or right from the trees, but either way they all want to have a birdie look from here, definitely. But no skip today. No skip today, yeah, it's just too high to make a skip, I guess. I believe. Oh, so you're going with a low skipping. Uh, it gets a pretty nice skip, but I think he didn't want to have that much of a hyzer. Yeah. Going out from the hand. And he's going to be the first one to putt. Oh, yeah. Little hyzer putt on the upper side, and in it is. Next up, Christo. Easy one. Yeah. As the sun comes out, the putt's going to sink. Nice, nice clean him. one from Henar, yeah. So no. Albert, all on you. Will it be two star frames in a row? And yeah, it getting it going once again. Will we see the chains? They are coming. They <laughs> oh, are okay, coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. There it is. A bit, a bit, a bit wider, please. <laughs> so, not much to talk, four birdies, second uh, basket in a row, so guys are getting hot. Yeah. And hopefully stay th uh, that way until the end of the round, but we still have eight more holes to go. And uh, 11th hole, 200 meters, and par four. OB everywhere. OB everywhere, uh, I know it, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, the opening shot, can be easy backhand hyzer, I say, or a little bit more trickier forehand. Uh, um, We've seen that from you. Yeah. During the first round, that super flippy. Yeah. So yeah. I but I think all the guys want to have a birdie look from here. The only mistake you can make is not. Uh, oh, what's that? <laughs> uh, I'm, that? I may know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going with a backhand. Nice height. Should be okay, I guess. And if you get past the pavement there, it's yeah, it's a good distance. It's, it's a good one, yeah. So he's definitely looking for a birdie here. And Albert also going with a backhand, just playing it really, really Weird easy. Risky. Ah, no. Yeah. Just uh, the spot where Henar landed is a bit, a bit uh, better because he can. The the basket opens a bit. Yeah, More. the big trees yeah. in front of you yeah. where you're with your Albert, so you have a low ceiling already, yeah. and uh, mainly you have to go the sidearm. Yeah, and the, and the low sidearm. And he just rips one out there. Nothing to think about. Ah, it's okay. It's okay, yeah. And here we can see the, the low ceiling, and then the, the OB goes from the right side, so. As you can see, he has to go with a forehand, but you don't want to 
skip to the right, so it's it's kind of tricky. Yeah, and, and that is, I think it's safe. Yeah, yeah it it should be pretty pretty short. Yeah. I don't know what what happened there, but ah, okay, Indra going with a tomahawk. I see the line here. Pretty far, pretty far, but yeah, yeah still short. Just a bit short, yeah. But that's uh, I guess that's why he didn't go with the forehand, basically, because the the OB is on the right, and you have to flip it up a bit and get it going straight. So it's it's pretty hard uh, from that position. Albert doing the same mistake. Yeah, just leaning a bit low. And can Henar save the day? As you can see, the the gap opens up much more from this angle. And you can go with a backhand. Oh, also. and he also clips those branches. Oh, everyone getting some bad luck. Mm. Just not the best shots. Yeah. So no yeah. clear birdie view for any of these guys yet. So I have to hope for for the best, and that's easy par. Yeah. And this hole uh, played as a as a fairly easy and hard hole. It's it's the seventh hardest. So in so the it middle it's, it's, it's in the middle. Yeah. So. I think that's why all the guys playing right now, they they much more or or less wanted to have a look for birdie here. But there were actually only fourteen birdies, so so not much. Not much, yeah. Yeah. Or, ooh, um, nice no. run, but uh, a little run away from the basket also. That should be easy for Christo. Next, Christo. Saving the par here. Come back, uh, nice. Yeah. So as we can see, the wind is is not that hard on this hole because it's kind of tucked behind the buildings, which are next to the to the fairway here. So it it traps the wind and it's pretty okay. Oh, Ooh. sneaks it in. A ceremonial round around the post of the basket and par for Henar and par for Gabe. Everyone gets a par. Yeah. So, no harm done. Still, I ho uh, hoped to see at least one or two birdies. Yeah, yeah, definitely. These guys. Well, let's move on. Hopefully, I'm doing the next basket. So, hole 12, par 4, 215 meters. I'd say it's a pretty straightforward drive from the tee and uh, not that hard to approach from the drive. You want to land straight on this spot here, as we can see on the left side. I think uh, next to the trees is fairly enough. You can just uh, throw a long shot from the tee pad and get a bit easier up shot also. Yeah, so usually if you land down there, uh, where Marcus was showing next to the tree or those uh, homes, you still have to go a little bit uphill. There's a slight uh, little uh, hump, if you can say like that. And um, yeah, it, like you can barely see the basket. You have to know where it is and the distance. But, yeah. But still, opening drive is pretty plain and simple. Yeah, the only trick is the, the approach because it seems kind of you can't really. Measure the distance yeah. as you can measure it on the on the flat ground, so it plays a bit differently. Ten are making a pretty pretty nice uh, drive from the tee, as we can see, just playing it long there. And so does Albert, I I'd say. He's going on the wider route. Yeah, so if if you stay here, you have more distance to go, but you have you don't have that little uphill bothering you that yeah. much. And if you leave it a bit short, uh, yeah, there might come into the play these uh, 
protecting trees which are in front of the basket on the right side and on the left side and if you hit those trees you have 20 meters or, or even more left so you want to get past those. And in once again a big well, bomb. Oh and that's a that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Good distance. Yeah. Just you get a bit higher on the on the on the hill there it the open the basket opens up. And here you can see the view from Albert. So it's not the not the worst. Yeah. I'd say it's pretty good place to be. And the shot seems pretty okay also. I'd yeah. say really okay. Nicely done, Nicely Albert. Done. Should be an easy birdie. Let's see. Yeah. We should have an invisible net here also, maybe. But I guess yeah. Henar is a bit shorter than the net, so it's under the basket. And once another again. one. They make it look so easy that uh, I don't want to look it anymore much more. Because <laughs> <laughs> my shot, my opening shot on that day was like. 60 meters from the tee pad and <laughs> on on the spot where I'd never been before. So yeah, they're playing okay right now. Yeah, Christos' second shot wasn't the best. It was going, I'd say, not to the right direction. Most most of the flight. Mm, okay, straight to the basket door a little bit. Danny Heiser um, finds a six meter putt. Should be okay. So Christo, Christos' third shot. Oh, making those long putts yeah. squeaky. Let's see. So, indirect for birdie. Not this time. Mm. He has been struggling all round. Yeah. And uh, Enar taking an easy birdie here. And par for Christo. It should be easy birdie for Albert also. So. Two birdies. Yeah. And I want it. Henar at minus 11, Feigma minus 8, Albert at minus 7, and Guiv struggling with, with the round a bit. Yeah, that is the, that is the situation right now. So what do we have? We have ball number 13 coming up. Yeah, that is correct. 120 meters, bar 3, and uh, yeah. We've seen mainly sidearm, low uh, skippy shots. Mm -hmm. We've seen one or two, I'd, I've seen one or two forehand rollers. Mm -hmm. And some guys try to attack the basket with backhand, but all of those are, like, it's not that easy to get yeah. to the basket. Only three birdies taken yeah. from the second round, so this kind of gives you a glimpse of how hard this hold can be. See Hena with the backhand, and that's going like it's not low, it's not the highs are out, it's yeah. in the middle, and that's what happens. You get the branches. Let's see how that wide. Come on, skip, get back. Oh, if it wouldn't have hit the tree, how, how long do you think it would have been? I think it would have been in like. 20 meters. It 20 was meters. pretty wide, okay, yeah. wide route. So I'm thinking, like, can you even make it with that forehand skip shot to the basket? Actually, uh, first round, Albert wasn't that far away. Okay. He got those like mad four or five skips. Okay, okay. So you can you can make it to the you to the it, line yeah. circle yeah. maybe. Okay. You already thinking about future? <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do? There's no future. <laughs> No, no, just uh, I haven't seen. I wonder how those three birders were actually taken, because oh, yeah. because yeah. uh, the only way I can see this basically happen is forehand roller, but yeah. it's it's also really hard, so so no easy ones on he here. But <laughs> finding the only tree as he he didn't want to hit the tree, I think, as the putt won't won't go in so easily for him right now. And Christo just a bit a bit wide, but still five six yeah. meters. No problem for him. And Albert for a long jump. Just getting on yeah, the that's basket. a that's an easy par and easy par here yeah. is okay. So yeah. you take a par and move on. It's kind of hole when uh, where where people don't take that much of uh, bogeys and you mm. don't take 
basically any birdie, so it's just a par and move on. Yeah. Because the uh, bogey here is also not, not the thing you want. And, uh, should be all pars will be screwed. Yeah, so. No harm done, let's move on. And uh, yeah, the thing is, yeah, not, not a lot of birdies taken, but you don't want to get the bogey, which is pretty easy also to come if you hit early. first early trees. Yeah, trees. absolutely, absolutely. But yeah. So we have hole 14. I think this hole kind of uh, duplicates the second hole or even the fifth hole, which was the tunnel yeah. hole, as you yeah. said, because it's it's kind of the same. It's a bit maybe a bit uh, longer uh, than the second and a bit shorter than the fifth hole. Yeah. So the, the the mentality of here is kind of the same. Just throw a forehand uh, flat straight shot and get a little skip and should work. Yeah. And uh, yeah, here we have a couple of meters to go to the pavement, which is OB. So yeah, that's o that's the only danger you can you can pretty much get into here if you don't hit early. Also, oh, -ho! oh. that's a skibbity dip, a drift team shot. That's like twelve meters to go, but yeah, he hit the ground pretty early, but still yeah. enough power to skip forward. This is a bit too much hyzer, but. Yeah, that's already 11 meters, yep. so he has a putt. Although the the OB behind the basket comes into the play when you have this kind of um, line to the basket as, as Albert has. This, this looks, looking really this good. Looks, yeah, Christo has this shot locked on, so he made it look easy on the first round. He made it look easy on the second round. Oh, a line I haven't seen. Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> I think oh, was it, it backhand? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Somehow I missed that one second when he. Yeah. Take That's why I was a bit, a bit surprised. But uh, Henar has a look for a. Ah. Just a bit. A just a bit left, yeah. And Albert also looking uh, outside circle putt. No, not going to. You know, I was basically on the same spot on the second round. I was on the uh, same spot on the first round, I made it, and second round, I made it OB, <laughs> the easy bogey, so as we see, Indrek missing, missing a short putt here, yeah, definitely not looking for it. And Christo, he's on fire, Yeah. playing a good, solid round again, Yeah. only one, one bogey from hole number eight. Yeah. So far, so. We have some tricky holes still to go, but yeah, yeah one, one bogey. Till this part here is, is okay. And then, uh, with Albert tapping those pars and move on to hole 15. Uh, let's see. Christoph with the long birdie, all the other guys with pars. Pretty sure they were not that happy with that, but yeah. still. What you gonna do? Yeah. Really focused. Crystal making another story. Part three. Yeah, again, not the easiest one to park. You have this monument in front of you, 132 meters distance. No OB, to be honest. Uh, only, yeah, you have OB on the right side, you have OB long, but I've heard only one guy has made it to OB long, so. Oh, okay, and who was it? Uh, no idea. <laughs> Okay. Anneli told me yesterday that she had heard that okay. somebody. Okay. Yeah, you you can make it happen, but you don't want to make it happen. As only three birdies were taken on the on the round, and we'll see if if three of those guys are playing right in front of us or not. And Christo just leaves it a bit short. Yeah. Easy, 
easy par, maybe a long look for a birdie, but... Uh, is it going to the hill side? To the left, yeah. yeah. As we can see, the wind is is getting stronger on this on this hole right now. So the two ways to to hit the basket or hit the hit the green is either you go up, as we see Henar and uh, and Albert both, or you can go on the right side, the low low line, which maybe is, won't won't need so much of a distance. And Inrek going also with a forehand, and that's the, that's the low line we can see. But it's it's looking pretty good, although a bit short. But should have a look for birdie, I guess. Yeah. Ah. Ah, it's pretty close. It's in the in the circle, I guess. Yeah, yeah. in the circle is good. Crystal. Ah. What was that? I think that the leaves, uh, which are just in front of the basket, just uh, oh, yeah. are pretty low, and he was thinking like thinking about these things. And Henar also a bit long. Uh, an easy, easy mistake to make from that distance. And Albert just trying to float something into the basket, but with that wind, it's it's really hard. And we see Ivrek. Yeah. Taking not much time, just going. <laughs> and uh, head wind. Yeah. Just got under the disc and you can see his face. And, and there. not so comfortable comebacker for Henar with the wind. And it's just a bit low and on the left side. Yeah, and that will be his first bogey for the round. Mm. Had a clean sheet until that and Christo still. Making all those needed putts. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing you need when you want to be on the lead right now. Make no stupid mistakes and get those easy birdies. And then our, as I said, first bogey for him, but yeah. until now he has played really, really solid, really solid and yeah. clean rounds. So one bogey and three pars. And uh, Mike must still leading the round with minus five. Yeah, one shot behind uh, in total. Mm -hmm. And hole 16, pretty tricky hole, I'd say. As you can see, the fairway is narrow. It's it, the ceiling is low, and you there have comes two people walking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're all the time walking there. We hired them to make it even harder, and then it comes the little hump. One first hump. And uh, just in front of the basket is the second hump, so the first shot, if you get it over the first hump, it's, it's really good. If you get it onto the hillside there, it's also good. So, yeah. so you have to avoid the trees or you might get a tricky pick to the left or right or even to the OB, which is on the left side, I guess. Only. Yeah. And basically the first thing you want to do on your open drive, just clear this. First corridor. Yeah. Doesn't look so hard, but believe me, when you get on the tee pad, yeah, it gets to your mind. It's really hard, and uh, there's also always wind up there, so it it just lifts your disc or it does whatever it does. And oh yeah, we are now higher, like where we are, at 15 meters higher than well, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Most yeah. of the course, so yeah, that's that's the place where the wind is living. And two first shots were really good. Everybody getting onto the hillside, which is either way you get a skip or, or kick. It's yeah. it's good. It's 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 really good. So let's see if Henar can match those other guys. No. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the one thing of that the happens. mistakes you can happen there. But you still have room to yeah to to save a par. Yourself. It should be easy if you have a standstill forehand shot to 80, 90, 100 meters. That's flexing nice. Yeah. Just on the fairway. Yeah, yeah. that should be like 40 meters, I think, to the basket. Maybe even less. Mm, yeah, yeah, something like that. Although the basket is a bit uh, longer than than the last year's version, yeah, I guess. True. But it's it's doable. Although it ain't it ain't easy, because the second hill also comes inside, and there are leaves and branches, as you I saw right now. You can yeah. See. And he still has like. 40 meters left, I guess, so so nothing easy. 
So this is Indrak's second shot. The first uh, shot was really good and really good, but second one. Yeah. Catches a tree and he still has like it has a look for the birdie, yeah. but there's pretty much wind and and I think uh, Indrak doesn't feel that comfortable with much right now. And Albert not the best yeah, approaches. And may find himself just behind the tree there. Yeah, but so we'll after see. that kind of uh, opening drive. Yeah, yeah. You you want to have an easier look for the birdie. And uh, Henar, was it her? Yeah, oh, yeah, was, yeah. Was. Oh, trying to save a par. Yeah, should should have a tap in for a bar. Let's see, Indrek for birdie. Mm. Just the wind. Yeah. Pushed the disc down a little bit too early. Let's see, Christo. And Christo has. Has made those long putts before. Let's see. That's looking good. Oh. Nice that one. Another outside the circle putt. Another. Yeah. Second one for the round. Second one. Before okay. Christo. Okay. And there were only ten birdies taken, so not many, but Cristo managed to be one of them. And Albert going for that birdie. And leaving. Another mm, comebacker. Yeah. Not the hardest, but. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Let's see, Henar. It should be for par. Yes. Mm. And missing this one also. Second bogey. Hopefully bogey in a row. Yeah. Because he has basically the same distance to go. Yeah, two bogeys and two kind of not that hard putts missed. Maybe okay. just a. Uh, Good round came to his mind and yeah. uh, last last holes left, so can't really blame a man playing really solid. Yeah. And then uh, these these thoughts get into our heads all the time. So, but still two two holes to go, and uh, he's in the lead mix, so yeah. nothing to worry about. Yeah, one massively big, uh, nice birdie. Yeah. By Christo, long putt. Outside circle two, uh, pars and one bogey. Yeah. So the 17th hole uh, plays as uh, one of the hardest holes once again. Uh, only seven birdies taken, and you want to hit the gap, or I'd say just miss the trees and get yeah. something, get <laughs> something out get there. Something out. It's 70 meters par three, and it's one of the hardest holes because if we see. A second, that's a view from the tee pad. <laughs> you have this concrete ceiling before you. Uh, last uh, last round, I was playing with Madliva, who is really small girl, and he was like, "Oh my God, this fence is so high." I'm like, "What's the problem?" And he was like, "You're a basketball player, basically. I'm a small midget, you can say." And <laughs> you can as you can see, it's 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 in front of you. Yeah, it's it's really it's really high actually. Yeah, and uh, OB behind the basket. That's Basically three meters and yeah. already OP. So if you go, if you hit the gap perfectly <laughs> and almost ace it but miss it, you might be in OP. Yeah, and if you are low, I'd say uh, not low but uh, short, like ten meters on on the on the ten meter line, you you have a putt. But with this wind and OB on the back, it's kind of dead putt. Yeah. Okay, so another uh, tomahawk, uh, not that successful. So this looks really there. good. This looks really good. Hello. Yeah, that's what you want to have that's here. Want, yeah. Tap in birdie and after two. Yeah, bad. really nice confidence once again Boys. coming back. And the the approach shots which which we saw from uh, Albert right now they ain't easy also because the gravel is really fast there. So you want to get the disc down earlier and you want to slide it to the basket. So it's it's not that common. As you saw right now. Yeah, Christo is not even thinking about yeah. attacking the basket from the stance. Yeah. Par. Par. Yeah. No good. No good from this round for for Indrek right now. Yeah, he has got some. He has got bogeys, double bogeys, triple bogeys, and birdies. So yeah, downhill, everything. uphill, everything. American roller coaster. And hit on with the long birdie. The yeah. Ultimate part job. Yeah, that's the that's the shot you want to have there. The only shot you can basically have 
to make it easy birdie, I'd say. And not this one. Yeah. As you saw it. So, uh, Henar and uh, Weikmar tied minus 10. And uh, as I'm not mistaken, we have uh, from the chase card, boys coming up. Rasmus yeah. Metzam are making a really good round. And Minu jaoks on see jalutus kõik metsas. Minu jaoks on see tee. So, as I said, uh, Henar and Weikma are both on minus 10 right now, but from the chase card we have Rasmus Metsamaa making a really good move. Played a minus 7 round and uh, right now on 11 down, so one ahead of the others. So we have the last hole. Yeah, the infamous 18. From top of the Song Festival grounds down in front of that uh, park. Yeah. The last uh, grass. And let's see, wind is usually you have headwind. Yeah, and it really like uh, comes from. It starts as starts as a headwind. Uh, you get down, it goes on the on the right side, on the left side, it goes everywhere. So it's it's really hard to charge the. Whoa! And this is Hena Rudna, ladies That's and gentlemen. That's a statement. That's a statement. Really good oh shot. My God. Yeah. After two unfortunate bogeys, so he has got two like. Magical drives. Yeah, and as we can see, Krista even even won't think about going for the birdie. Just plays, tries to play safe, which he has done. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. And let's see if Albert thinks about birdie or par. I think he thinks about birdie. Yeah, and he's this, attacking. This looks pretty good. I think it's let's it's see. pretty. Skips on oh. the concrete ah. and doesn't get in. Like the skip would have been good, but yeah. the wind the just pushed back. Pushed it back a bit, yeah. I think Indrek is going here also because he has nothing left. Tries to go low, play for the skip. If it gets from the concrete, it should be okay. If it gets from the grass, it might not be okay. And it's not okay. Uh, it's the last grass, yeah. So Christo just trying to lay up for a par here. And uh, nice forehand coming to the basket. Yeah, yeah, easy, easy ending for him. And Albert from the drop zone, second day in a row from the drop zone. First day we played together, and whoa, <laughs> trying to get something going here. Yeah, let's see now we have Indrek. Oh, should be, should be par. Yeah, sorry, bogey. On the drop zone. Let's see. As we said, should be. And no. That not putting, this time, yeah. That putting. And Albert saving a bogey. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks the basket. Yeah. Thanks the disc. Yeah, That's sneaks it in. Putting was, wasn't his candy this time, so hopefully last round he can make something happen here. And uh, Christo taps in the par, stays minus 10, and uh, Rudna taking. Uh, Low hot birdie here. Really, yeah, really nice. nice one. Really nice. Yeah, so. Uh, I'd say only three birdies taken on the last hole, so that's a really. Last day? Yeah, yeah. Well, really bold statement from, from Henar. Yeah. So, that was, the, that was the round. Let's see, we have uh, Enar Rudna, five for, uh, 500 for the round, uh, 11 in total. So he's tied for the first place with uh, Rasmus Metzama, who came from the chase card. We have Christa Weipma, 10 under for uh, total. And we have uh, fourth place tied with uh, Sven, Sven Bajos, Albert Dam, and Juhani Vainia. Yeah. 600 par. Coming from Finland, Johanny Vainio. Yeah, that is true. He had the hardest round uh, 
in the second round, he plays eight under. Yeah, which is really good. Really good. No, bo no bogeys for him, no. uh, but it's a clean sheet. Yeah, that was uh, second round, lead card coverage uh, from uh, Baltic Disc Golf Championship 2018. Anton Enden, Markus Dinjaninov, thanking you and hope to see you uh, during the final round. See you. Bye.